Hi, I'm Darlene from GoDaddy's How To. And I'm Emma from The Journey, and we want to share with you how to be efficient while working from home. Being efficient working from home can be a challenge. There are tons of distractions, less accountability, and less communication than when you're working in the office. But that doesn't mean that it's impossible. There are lots of ways to keep yourself working productively from any location. Totally. And here are six ways you can start. One, stick to a sleep schedule. I know this can be tricky, especially when you might have the opportunity to sleep in now. Don't get me wrong if your body is really telling you that it needs some extra rest. I definitely support that. If you want to stay up late and wake up late, it's totally fine. But having that consistency is key. Designate a time when you're going to bed and when you're going to wake up each and every day. Not only will this help you stay on track, but it's also good for your body to have a consistent sleep schedule. Also, when the time comes to going back to the office, you won't have a difficult time adjusting. That's a good point. I didn't think about that one yet. All right, number two, get ready each morning. Now that you're working from home, it can also be very tempting to stay in your PJs all day while you work. And there's no shame in that game. I've totally done that way before we needed to work from home full time. (laughs) Even if you won't be interacting with another person all day, it's important to dress for success. You might even have a lot of virtual meetings, so it's important that you look presentable. Taking the time to get ready each morning will tell your brain it's work time, not relaxation time, and that'll give you a lot more energy. If you didn't normally get dolled up every day, this is still a great way to normalize your new routine of working from home. If you have a hard time motivating yourself to get ready in the morning, try laying out your outfit the night before and maybe plan an outing that day to just so you have to get dressed, get outdoors. Next, you'll want to create a separate workspace. It might be tempting to work from your couch, lounge chair, even from your bed, but this could take a huge toll on your productivity. Yeah, take it from me. Working from a consistent room, desk, or chair tells your brain it's time to work, not relaxation. (laughs) Try setting up a desk with a comfy, supportive chair, a spacious desk, and consistent workplace tools. Make sure to personalize your space since you'll be spending a lot of time there. This also means setting boundaries for kids, pets, or your spouse or roommates. Try to encourage them to leave you alone while you're working so you can stay focused. Try to keep the boundaries friendly and playful, but make sure you stick to them. One fun idea is to make a sign for the door of your office that indicates whether you're working or not. Number four, make a time block schedule. One surefire way to keep productivity up is to get smart about planning your day. Before you even start working, make sure you know what your priorities are for the day, how long you think it will take to get everything done, and what you will work on if you have extra time. Extra time. Um, (laughs) You might find it helpful to take a few minutes before you go to bed to plan for the next day. You may find that you sleep better without the stress of planning in the back of your mind. If you find that planning before bed actually keeps you awake, though, try making a plan for the day while you eat breakfast or exercise before work. Totally agree with that. And in your planning, schedule your day around your own natural cycles. Do the hardest work when you have the most energy. For me, that's in the morning. And give yourself rewards and breaks throughout the day. And that's why it's so important to take breaks. Speaking of breaks, make sure that you make the most out of them. Step away from your workspace and get some fresh air, grab a healthy snack, and talk to another human being if possible. When you work from home, it's very easy to get so focused on your tasks that you might not take breaks. And so make sure you take some time, go outside, go for a walk, do some stretching if you can. Today, I did yoga at 10 a.m. And making time for those designated breaks will really help break up the day and create a good balance. Exactly. All of these activities will give you a reset, get your blood flowing, and make sure that you're ready to tackle the next chunk of tasks. And last but not least, number six, setting an end time for your workday. This will depend on your workplace, but if you're working from home, you might have more flexibility on when you can start and end your day. However, it's important to create that and establish a time so that you're not working longer than you should and you're still maintaining that healthy work-life balance. Yep. Sticking to those boundaries is crucial because when you work where you live, boundaries can sometimes easily go out the window. Creating that time where you're done for the day and you can have some FaceTime with your family or friends, play some board games or whatever it is that you're not becoming a workaholic. You can do this 
and encouraging your coworkers to do the same can go a long way. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is difficult, even when there isn't a major disruption to our life. We don't want this video to seem like this transition is so simple to do, but we do hope these tips are helpful to you and that you're able to use this time working from home to practice self-discipline and get stuff done. So stay safe. Stay healthy.